What's up guys, it is a T-Ball and I am back with another video. So today we're going to be going over what happened to Rodney Hood in the NBA playoffs. So before I start, if you want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. So Rodney Hood has been terrible so far in the playoffs as he has put up multiple zero point games and he hasn't been great on defense either. In the NBA playoffs, Hood is averaging only 4.6 points, 1.4 rebounds, and 1.1 assists in 17 minutes per game. He's shooting a paltry 39.6% from the field, 13.3% from 3, and 75% shooting from the free throw line. And looking at his advanced defensive stats, he has a defensive rating of 115 and a negative 0.1 dBPM, so he hasn't been effective on that end of the floor as well. So what happened to Ronnie Hood? So in offense, Hood has been terrible as he can't seem to find a shot from really anywhere on the floor. What made him so valuable coming to Cleveland was his 3-point shot, but that smooth stroke hasn't showed up in the playoffs as he is shooting an unreal 13.3% from 3, and I mean unreal in a bad way. I feel that a big problem with Hood on offense is that he is having trouble adapting to the increased physicality of opposing defenses. And we could definitely see this as he's having a lot of trouble getting up his shots both inside the paint and outside from 3. Also like Clarkson, it seems that his confidence is gone. And shooters need to have that short memory as once they lose their confidence, it makes them second guess their shot which usually leads to more misses. He needs to just let the ball fly and believe it's going in as when he is confident, his smooth shot is money and fun to watch. But if Hood continues his poor offensive play, he's simply not a threat and he needs to be benched. On defense, Hood has struggled a lot even with his solid height and length. He had a nice stop on the Rosen in Game 3 against the Raptors, but besides that, he has just struggled mightily. He was a fouling machine as he picked up 4 fouls in 11 minutes of playing time, and he can't seem to handle aggressive and more physical offensive players. His length allows him to bother opposing players' shots, which is good, but besides that, Hood gets beat on defense many times and he simply is not a good defender right now. Overall, Hood has played terribly in the playoffs so far, and he should be benched. Honestly, I think if you picked up some random G League player, I'd give it a 70% chance that he would play better than Hood right now in the same situation. To put it simply, Hood's jumper is broken, and he's not a threat on offense or defense. The only reason why I think he's still getting minutes is because Lou wants to show that he still has confidence in him, as when Hood is on, he can be a real offensive threat, and his height and length allows him to be able to switch on defense pretty well, which would be big against the Warriors. But right now, I think Lou should just give up on Hood for now, as he is useless and a negative on the court. Hopefully Hood can pick his game up, but honestly it's not looking too good for him. So that's a wrap, thanks guys for watching, if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on what you think is wrong with Rodney Hood. Why is he struggling so much? Let me know down in the comments below as I do read all comments and I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys. So once again. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys soon for my next video. Peace.